Hi, good morning folks. Just stopping for a short one on the way to our meeting. I don't want to be late. Um, we have another international suicide in the news. Um, rest in peace, Mr. Anthony Bourdain and peace to his family and loved ones and those that he would have touched and left behind. People's suicide is preventable. It's also detectable. When you see a person's behavior change, they become more withdrawn than normal or maybe more outgoing than normal and it's going on for a period of days. If you notice, they become very sad, teary, lacking hope. If you see changes like their appetite, they either eating less or not eating at all or they're overeating or eating things that they don't normally eat in, in, you know, in, in a normal, um, in a, a normal irregular pattern. If you notice them getting angry all the time, getting upset and falling out with people, cursing, getting into altercations, getting into fights, and that wasn't the normal way. Um, if you notice that they're not sleeping as much, they appear to be tired all the time as though they're not sleeping, or they appear very lethargic and sleepy as though they're sleeping too much all the time. These could possibly be signs that that person has become clinically depressed, and that may be the step before suicide. Please, if you have a relationship with anybody exhibiting these signs, talk to them. If you can't speak to them or if they refuse to open up to you, if you're not comfortable or in any case like that, get them onto a professional, please. If your company has an employee assistance program, I always advocate and encourage them to go to the EAP call. It's confidential. We have suicide lines set up that people can call. Please encourage them to call and talk to somebody. Suicide is detectable and preventable people, but we all have to look out for each other. Okay? All right. You'll have a good day now, right? Look out for your brother. Look out for your sister. Go live. Have a good day, people. Take care. Bye.